producer Ash here and we're taking a look back at the week that was with Stab, Abby and Matt. I'm away next week. Well, not away. I'll be doing the show, but I'm just <laughs> lay by the tongue. Different pulse codes, different rules. Is that a rule? Nah. I believe, yeah. I believe that saying's different hose and different area codes. Wow. Is it? Uh, I've never said that. No, my friends and I have always said different postcodes, different rules. Wow. Well, you don't have the... to travel far for that. No. no. It's just a hop, skip and a jump. TikTok's gone wild with Americans thinking we ride kangaroos down under. You've got to be an experienced rider to uh, to ride a big red. Uh, you do have to have your open roo licence. Put the heels of your boots in the in the lip of the pouch. Um, you wrap your legs around um, and then you grab hold of the ears uh, for, for steering. And maybe we do. Some women find kangaroos attractive. What? In their physique. Have you seen that conversation go around online? No. no. Type in sexy Was this kangaroo. a private conversation Type with your wife? No. I think because they're so they're so big, is that what the thing is? Yeah. Well, I mean, they, is that not really... When they come up... You're talking about that big muscly one that was around for a while. Yeah. Because they were saying it was because he was sort of like, as if he's laying, laying on a back. couch, yeah. posing. He's posing like Rose pose. Mm. Yes, in Titanic. In Titanic. Mm. Keep scrolling down, though. Oh, for God's sake. He's jacked. Hi, baby, want to come back to my house? <laughs> Do some bouncing. <laughs> okay. See what I mean? Yeah, he's jacked. Yeah, yeah baby. And he can take care of you. Is that what you mean? <laughs> yeah. They've said buff red kangaroo. If that was your boyfriend, I wouldn't be rude to you because he would get you. Rude. Yeah. 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 Rob Schneider. You can do it. You can do it. Rob Schneider. You can do it. Comedy superstar Rob Schneider called the show, but he was a little distracted during his chat. Good morning. How are you? Well, for me, it's evening. What are you actually doing in your house then at the moment? I'm not. I'm actually in storage. You know when you have, like, you just have way too much stuff? Yeah. And then you have to deal with it eventually? Yeah. So that's what I'm doing, unfortunately, and it's really <laughs> awful. So Rob, the day you knew you had media <laughs> interviews, you thought, I'm going to go to my storage shed and do some work there while the radio stations in Australia call me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's how much. I mean, that's the point of mine. I'm 35 years in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Praise the ball. Yeah. He's if a you, busy you know, man. Whenever I see, like, David Spade or Adam Sandler, Chris Rock or Kevin James, I go, like, listen, guys. If you haven't accomplished what you needed to at this point in your life, what are you stressing about? Yeah. All right? Yeah, fair now enough. you got to think about early death, yeah. heart disease, prostate cancer. Yeah. These are the bigger issues, not what movie you can get. What item do you have in your hand at the moment, then? It's my wife. Yeah. <laughs> it's her running lead weight that she runs with. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, keep those in storage. She doesn't yeah. want them. I'm throwing those away right now. Perfect. You know, as soon as you chuck them away, she's going to go looking for them in two days' time and wondering where they are. <laughs> Robert, what did you do with my weights and leg weights? I've been, I've, been paying, I've been paying rent for them for three years in storage. You obviously didn't need them that badly. Uh-huh. That's what I'll do. Abby's Long Lunch. Abby sorted the invite list for her Gold Coast Long Lunch. Alyssa in Upper Kedron, you're coming along. Oh, thank you so very much. Chandel, you are coming along. Oh my God, thank you so much. It's Ashley in Waterford West. Hi, thank you so much. It's just a bunch of nice mums having a very civil, very nice lunch. Right? What is your favourite song, Ashley? Oh, to the window, to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this sounds like a lunchtime song to me. Yeah. Can you pass pass the butter, please? Oh, excuse me, can you pass the salt? I do like it that you said that you're going to bring your friend, uh, your bestie, uh, Miranda, along with you because in your minds you're still in 2012 and still mm, dropping to Flow Rider on the weekends. Every time that comes on the radio. It's a low, 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 low. Let's actually make this playlist. I'm going to put it on my... We my love this song. Spotify. <laughs> Thank you, Huey Boo. A girl's playlist. Thank you so much. Woo! All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Ironic for the casino. Yeah. Now, have you also heard, Caitlin, about our HR manager that the uh, B105 Board of Directors said has to go? I have. Yeah, I actually work for HR, so... So you know how to get out of trouble, is that what you say? 100% yeah. I do. Uh, yeah. We call her Angry Ange. Yeah. Because um, she didn't like fun sponge, so we, we <laughs> said to go with that instead. But she... She's, she's going to be giving, monitoring yeah. you and making sure you're all on the straight and narrow, unless, I guess, you could corrupt her because you know uh, all about her job, so that this might have been a mistake here. I think my best friend and I will do a good job corrupting Angry Ange. <laughs> 
For more fun times and behind the scenes action, head to the listener app. Until next time, that's a wrap with Stav, Abby, and Matt.